Hey guys, uh, I'm going to do a video today on my E53 X5. It's a 2003 with the 4.4. Um, I got a lot of issues going on with it right now, so I got a, a lot of the stuff uh, taken out. Um, but uh, what I was going to show you on this video was the uh, check valve for the secondary uh, air system. Um, I was throwing the code for the secondary air system and I wanted to check the check valve. Uh, I actually uh, found it easier to take it out because uh, the hose down there is, is uh, pretty stiff and um, I couldn't like, I don't know, I just couldn't uh, get a good test on it. But uh, also I wanted to look down in the pipe and uh, just see if I could uh, see any carbon or anything, but that's where it is and you can see all the oil that I've got going on. I've got multiple issues with this car and uh, I'm about to park it in the backyard and just say screw it But I'm gonna keep fighting and uh, I Gotta figure out where that oil's coming from. It's pretty bad um, but uh Your uh, air pump hooks up to this hose to this connection right here um, and then you have the pneumatic uh, vacuum line that hooks up here it comes from the top there it is right here it's down there and um, it's a really uh, kind of confined space down there when you want to get this back uh, nut off okay because they're they're nuts that you got to take off to get it out so when it's in there, it's kind of weird uh, and confined in there to uh, get a wrench in. So uh, instead of disconnecting my radiator hose and all that and trying to get a wrench in there, I took my splash guard off the bottom and uh, came up through the bottom. And uh, it was more of a direct angle. And uh, there's my setup there that I used it's a 10 millimeter with a couple of extensions on there and I used the short uh, the short tip socket there the short socket not the deep um, but I put it on the vacuum you get a better look at that it sits right there you can see where the hose hooks up I put it on the vacuum uh, which my friend lent me this tool here and uh, put it on there and it opened up at 8 psi so I'm guessing that's good um, when I had the engine off or when I had the hose off and I was running the engine I, I, I could feel a little vacuum coming off this I don't know how much psi it's supposed to be taking but it was it was a little bit so I don't know um, uh, yeah, but there's a, I, I got that, and I got an EVAP problem, and I got a misfire, I got an oil leak, uh, the thing is, uh, falling apart faster than, uh, I can fix it, but, uh, anyways, guys, so, uh, I'll probably, probably be making more videos as I, uh, figure all this out. Well, I just wanted to show you that secondary air check valve. Um, it's got a like an aluminum or some kind of gasket there too. But I'm going to call this good for now and uh, put it back in and uh, go another direction and probably try to find that oil leak. So uh, that's it, guys. Um, I just wanted to make this video for the guys that have the 4.4 uh, 4.4 um, engine. Um, it's really easy to get that uh, check valve out if you go th from the bottom. Um, you might need to remove the air box because that one hose that comes off of it might be in the way. So. Anyways, guys, I hope this video is... Uh
bright enough for you to see what's going on in there. Um, it's pretty simple. So if you're looking into your secondary air system um, and you want to remove that valve or test that valve, it's really simple to take out. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys.